As we think about sustainability in the 21st century, we need to remember that this is not a new issue. This dates back generations, basically eons. As early as the 1930s, Aldo Leopold wrote that the oldest task in human history is to live on a piece of land without spoiling it. Seeing the impact of the Dust Bowl and the drought and what human beings could do to, to degrade the landscape and, and hurt their own economies, their own livelihoods, that was deeply troubling to him and that was part of the impetus to write his book. It was back in the 1940s when Aldo Leopold wrote, we abuse land because we see it as a commodity belonging to us. When we see land as a community to which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. So Aldo Leopold, he didn't talk about sustainability, using that terminology, but really what he was talking about with the land ethic is protecting the land, understanding our stewardship obligations to the land for our sake and for the sake of the ecosystem on which we depend. When Leopold was writing the Sand County Almanac, we have to remember the world looked a lot different. There were only a couple of billion people at that time. Now we're approaching eight billion people. But people had a much closer connection to the land than they do now. Most of the population in the United States were farmers or lived in the rural landscape. So they truly did rely on the land for their sustenance and for their livelihood. When Aldo Leopold wrote about this area, things were clearly out of balance. Uh, at the time of settlement, this was a tall grass prairie and oak savanna. But after agriculture became the industry in the late 1800s, uh, things started to happen. The technology that the farmers brought with them from Northern Europe, while perfectly appropriate for Northern Europe, were not sustainable here in Southwest Wisconsin. And so within a relatively short time, uh, massive amounts of soil erosion occurred because of overgrazing on the hillsides and up and down uh, row cropping on the, on the ridge tops and on the bottoms. After all, Wisconsin was a huge wheat producer way, way back in the 1800s. And the Europeans were the ones that brought that here. In Europe, that is not a problem because they have very gentle, steady rains. Over here, that same production model was just a killer on our soils. If that wheat weren't up to hold the soil and a two inch rain came, which is not unusual in our area, they had huge erosion. They looked at this erosion not as a loss of soil, but they looked at it as a ditch creator around which it was very difficult to farm. You're looking at 12 to 15 feet of sediment that eroded off the hillsides and filled in the valley floor. Virtually all of the ground on both sides of this stream bank is topsoil that 200 years ago was up on a ridgetop. 